And turning to fire season, wildfires continue to rage in parts of California, New Mexico and Arizona this morning. Senator Daniels explains how a deadly heat wave is making it hard for crews to control those flames. The intense heat is complicating efforts to tackle several wildfires raging in the West. Dozens of residents near San Diego were ordered to evacuate Sunday when triple digit temperatures ignited a brush fire in a desert community. I went in, got the old lady, got her to get the dogs out, and I went back in, looked out the back door, and it was a wall of flame. In Santa Barbara County, air crews have been working around the clock to contain the so-called Sherpa fire, now in its sixth day. Their efforts are being hampered by steep terrain and high winds. If we had a week without wind, we'd be great. Uh, unfortunately, that's not predicted. Over the weekend, temperatures topped 118 degrees in Arizona, creating dangerous conditions for people spending time outdoors. Got water, get a nice little sun. Shouldn't be too many people out there, so we'll go until I feel tired. And if I feel, feel a little lethargic, I'll turn around and come back down. Rescue crews were sent to help seven hikers near Tucson Sunday. Two of them died, believed to be from heat-related illnesses. One is still missing. And the crushing heat is expected to get even worse. Forecasters say highs in Phoenix could hit 120 degrees today. Hannah Daniels, CBS News.